What's up, guys? Welcome to the Ale Mix Podcast. My guest today is Ryan Russell. Hey, uh, what's up, brother Miguel? Thanks for having me out here. Appreciate it. You're welcome, man. How's your day going? It's going good. You know, beautiful day in sunny San Diego. Just loving life. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends here. Uh, we have some special guests here. We have Aiden, Aaron, Angel, and Skirt. Uh, behind the scenes action, you know. And I'm glad we're all here today hanging out on this beautiful Friday. It's really sunny and it's, it's really nice today. It was just super nice. What do you think, man? Just an amazing day, man. You know, got this amazing tea on here, gnashing. Throwback collab, gnashing on the back of the phone. I also got an AO mix shirt in the car. Get your get your get your gear. Oh uh, yeah, brother. All right, so look, we were talking about this topic earlier. If you had to go back in time and do something, or fix it, or go back to enjoy the moment, what would it be? Go back and enjoy the moment, huh? Let's go back. With, yeah, enjoy the moment, not fix it. Just go enjoy the moment, and then tell me to fix the one after. You know, I'm gonna have to be like everyone. Go back to summer '16. That was the time of my life right there. I don't know what it was, summer 16. I feel like that was a vibe. I don't know what it was. We just had an amazing summer, everybody. Not just us. I feel everybody in the world. <laughs> everybody in the world. No, I, I, know. I don't know why. It was. I think it was just summer 16. I don't know what it was. I think the music and like everything going on, Like I think it was more of like a, a vibe for everybody. Oh, yeah. And then what do you, would you do something like, um, what would you change? Go back and like change something. Like what would I change, huh? You know, if we're going to get on that topic, I would change the school system. The school system. We're going to get real deep here, man. Go deep. Go for it. I would change the school system. It is it is messed up, man. It's set for failure. It's set for us to all be robots and be everyday workers. I'm not about that, man. Mm, so what are you about? I'm about everyone doing their own thing, being happy, and just living life. I like that. I, I feel like uh, it was different. I, I feel like it could be better in a way of like maybe learning different shit. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. They just kind of... Teach us what they want us to know, not what we, not everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, um, some people say like the like like real world stuff, like you know, like yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, there. like real world stuff. I got out of school. I didn't know how to do nothing with money or nothing. I had to learn all that by myself, reading books, all this crap, you know. Yeah, I feel like the money, especially money, like you know, like math helps, but like money of like finance, like the fi like the that just finance, yeah, just being a being an adult. Yeah, that's true. That's I think that's that's very true actually. And um, switching the topic, but. Hey, yesterday we hung out. We uh, came up a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah. We had a good time over there at Barona Casino, you know. I love that place. Me and my buddy. Who was it? Me, you, and uh, Andy. Hello, Andy. You oh. know, we're, we're popping bottles, you know. Wow, we're popping bottles on the on the set. Wait, what, what just happened? Wait, uh, hold on. We got a little problem here, ladies. Oh, wait. Oh, he just lost his tooth? Oh. oh. Cut himself over there trying to oh. act cool. Wait, what just... I'm sorry. Am I missing something? I can't see from here. Holy smell. Let me see. Oh, my knuckles missing. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Uh, we had a, we had some problems on the on the set. Uh, <laughs> we might have to call. One of, one of our workers that got hurt, they were trying to do something extra for us, help us out, but, you know, something happened. Yeah. The, the, the <laughs> I feel like this guy, he's okay. I think he's, oh, my God, he's not okay, actually. Well, we have, um, one, we have some problems here, but we'll, we'll keep it on. We'll keep rolling. You rolling, um, Russ? So yesterday, man, we 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 hit. You know, we hit, man. We went over there. We went over there for fun, not to you know get get all crazy and start going crazy. Right. Just to enjoy each other's company, you know. That's that's the thing, and the thing is, we had lucky numbers. Yeah. We want we I won a roulette. I won, but we had these certain numbers that we were gonna do like to win, and yeah. my number just hit. Yeah, and it just from there it was just nothing but uphill. It was very uphill. And we don't go that, that often anymore. Well, I, I haven't been there in at least five, six months. I haven't been there obviously in a long time, but like you, you probably go more than me. But like other than that, like I'm more of a Vegas cat, you know. <laughs> Vegas, <laughs> Vegas is fun, man. Like I, honestly, anyone listening, I think you should at least get that uh, experience of Las Vegas. Oh yeah, most definitely. Like I, I think it's a. It's you don't even have to like to gamble. You just it's just a different. I don't even I don't even like to gamble really. Like but like when I went, I did gamble once. Well, that was because of you actually. I don't I didn't really want to, but. You didn't want to, but you know he had but, fun doing it. Yeah, I had fun doing it when I lost money on it, but <laughs> it's okay. Though. Hey, the it's drinks okay. are flowing though, right? Yeah, everything was it was fun. It was very enjoyable, and um, it just it's one of those things that like it, it's it's different experiences just for other people like that. That especially people don't don't like it or they don't want they don't think yeah, they like it. Yeah. And I think it's I think it's really awesome. So, what was your thoughts on uh, yesterday on Barona's COVID program they had going on? Yeah, the their uh, COVID like little protection thing. I thought I they had a pretty good set. Yeah, I think it was pretty clean, honestly. I noticed that they were always cleaning the whole time. Someone got up, they would clean, all that. Mm -hmm. 
I, I thought it was really nice too. It was really um, if you go there, I think it's it's okay. It's it's yeah. okay. You just gotta like you just gotta be clean on yourself. Like you know, you gotta be like just w- washing your hands and all the other et cetera stuff. You know. Um, you guys can't see, but we have um champagne in the studio. champagne going in the studio. We're not in the studio, but we're in the in my little area right now. Just cause it's nice out. It's nice. Gotta enjoy. Russ, what do you think about uh, sports coming back? You know, man, I'm I'm real hyped about that. I miss sports. I love watching sports all day. Just keeps me entertained. MLB, it's on the way back. Today they just released, uh, what was that, that stat? Out of the 3,000 players, only 1.6% or something around there tested positive. Mm-hmm. One of them was the Padre, Tommy Pham. Hopefully he's back ready for the season. I think so. I think it will be. Because, like, I, I feel like um, – well, it hasn't even started yet. I yeah, yeah, but time. still got two or three weeks. So, I mean, he should quarantine for, what, 14 days? Should be good. Yeah, I think he should be good after, like, those two weeks or whatever, you know. Like, I, I think that, like, I feel like he'll stay with it anyways. Like, I feel like he'll be okay. You know, like, I feel like I want to um, – hope, well, hopefully it doesn't um, affect him in any way. Yeah. But um, another thing about sports is, like, is basketball too. Does yeah, yeah, have- basketball, uh, NHL, golf's already going, NASCAR's going. NASCAR's going. Soccer's going everywhere. Mm-hmm. And some sports, like we always talk about, like the MLB. I know the MLB is a little more like, how do I say? It? I feel like they're more strict on rules. Yeah, of yeah. Like, like you know, like because, you, like you said, you're not really in contact with people. Football, Except the dugout. That's all it is. Football. Dugout. After that, you're not next to nobody the whole exactly. game. Like imagine the dugout just spread out, like you know, like or go. You know, like when they go underground in the tunnel. Hey, yeah. just go in the tunnel, like just be separate. Yeah, if you're not if you're not playing, you go in the tunnel. We need you. We'll call you up. Yeah, because you know some people will be chilling over there, just messing around with a little fucking with the gum shit. and yeah. throwing Powerade yeah. seeds and seeds and stuff. So it's kind of like one of those things where like looking in the stands. Yeah, just checking out people, whatever they got to do. And especially the bullpen. The bullpen messing around, too, bro. Oh, bullpen, they, they're something else. They're good boys, but they... Yeah, so I'm like, they don't need to be there. Like, you know, they just... They exactly, just, just throw them underneath in the dugout. There's room down there. Yeah, and when they're ready, they're ready. Come up. Or warm up. Yeah. And then, and then go on the field. And then the NBA, like... Like, I remember you explaining to me that thing where it's like, they have to uh, stay at this one place, and the several other teams that didn't make it... Yeah, yeah, the some other teams place. that have no playoff chance, and they're going to... Let them play it out because of the contract and money and all that stuff. Yeah, all the behind the scenes stuff. But who do you think is gonna make it? Honestly, uh, I still think Bron's gonna do it for Kobe. You know, he's got to. I don't. Um, I mean, I don't really watch like NBA like like teams and stuff. Like I, I would love to see my Celtics take it, but Bron's gonna have to take over. You know, I heard a lot about the Clippers. Is that the Clippers? Yeah, Kawhi. But uh, LeBron's gonna do it. And he's going to step out and be very talkative about everything that's going on right now in the world. Yeah, I feel the same way about that. And, like, I, I feel like he could um, – I, I feel like everyone in the in the NBA is, like, really, really, like, hyped for this because they – well, everyone in sports because they wait a long time. Oh, yeah. But the NBA, it's like they got put on a whole, like, mid-season. Mid-season. They yeah. were already about to hit the playoffs. And they were all getting in that mode, yeah, that, mode, that playoff like, mode. You just hold off the play mode. They're like, hey, yo, you got to wait like, a couple months. And you're, you're, you're hyped. You're running. You're, you're flowing. And even that, just the people watching, because, you know, sports gives people something to look forward to, mm. something for people to be a little more happy, you know, instead of getting stuck inside all day. Yeah. You know, I was thinking, too, like, obviously, they're probably, like, working out, like, um, dribbling and uh, practicing, but, like, I feel like you might lose a little groove because, like, you, remember, they were, like, this quarantine was very, like, strict, so they can be, like, oh, we're going to go practice with all our team. No, it's, like, you practice kind of solo, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You might get to practice with one buddy, but you guys aren't, like, Going at it with each other. Exactly. So I feel like game time, they're, people are going to be like, oh, they're not going to lose their group, but they're going to be like. A little wow. rusty. A little rusty yeah, to the start. A little rusty for the start. No one's going to come out hype. I like the first couple of games, I think. That's that's how I feel. And like especially like the, the NFL, too. Like, I, I don't know how they're going to do that. I, that's one thing I was kind of like, bro, like, when we played football, like, you're sweating and like. You're and you're just, just all up on, on the other guy yeah. all game long, just going at it. Yeah. So, like, I feel like, yo, that's, that's what I was kind of scared. Of. I was like, that shit will spread more faster like you know like yeah it's because you're really it's a contact that's full co- like bro you're in that that pile or you're in that tackle you're like breathe like it's you're, you're sweat- getting the other man's breath everything all up on you and it's the sweat it, it's ridiculous like I, I i don't know football it's a great sport man but uh, very injury stuff going on all day long i mean we we have injuries in the past i still i mean we still, um, we still got injuries <laughs> yeah, that we, we live we with every my, day yeah we every day i mean yeah that's funny, like I mean, especially with the um, your your shoulders. Yeah, my shoulder, I, it pops out randomly all the time. Yeah, I, I the only thing I got injured from football was my back. Your back, yeah, your back's all messed up. Something on your foot too, no? Yeah, my, one of my toes, like and yeah. my finger too. My finger has like this weird little bump. Was my hip, I remember I messed up my hip, everything, man. Oh, dude, always hurting. Just that, I remember the hip. before the game, pop the pills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the little, little pill for the, for the, the little warm ups. T- the Tylenols, man, they're not the strongest, but they help. Yeah, they help. 
And you know what? You know what really started uh, affecting me, and I remember you remember this too, because when. Like uh, honestly, I'm gonna talk about sports injuries. That's it's a it's a really that's big, a huge topic. It's a huge topic. So like that's why so many people are scared to put their kids in the sports because they don't want them to have okay like life I'm, injuring injuries. I'm gonna ask this and I'm gonna come back to what I'm saying. Is like, you know, hopefully in the future, if you want kids or you want to have kids or whatever, if you have kids, like, are you putting them in sports? See, you want to know something crazy about that? I'm putting them in sports, but I don't want my kid to play football. That's dude, unless unless he wants to, I'm not gonna push him towards that. Yeah, you know what's funny? Uh, I I. After playing, I don't know what this. Like after, after I just experience it. After I experience it and graduate from it, I heard a lot of people talk about it, and they're like, "I would never put my kid in football." Yeah, and I'm like, "What? Like, what? What do you mean?" And now I kind of get it. But like, man, the the brotherhood, the brotherhood you get in football, something you'll never find. Yeah, I feel like there's something like it's one of those things where it's like it gets very um. It gets, it's it's dangerous. It gets it's, dangerous. It's very all the sports are dangerous in a way. They can all you can all get hurt. Oh, every sport is dangerous. But like that's one sport that is scary. We've seen injuries from all of us and other teammates. It's it's crazy. <laughs> like I honestly would rather have my son doing boxing or something over football. Really? <laughs> I'm telling you. I was like, wait, what? No boxing, man. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Boxing. Hold on. Hold on. No, I know it's funny, but. I'd rather have him in there boxing, swabbing well, it up. You just said he didn't want him to get injured. I'm not going to football. But I'm going to give him boxing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he would have going to get knocked out, bro. But he gets knocked out. He's back up. But football. Back up. Football, football you're knocked out. You're going to get back up. You're going to go to the next play. You ain't going to tell nobody. I'll tell you about that. You guys don't want to know how many times you get that little flash. Oh, man. Oh, my God. No, back no. up. Next play. Yeah, I know. I agree, <laughs> I agree with the ball. But I'm like, I'm kind of like. Boxing, you're knocked out. Hey, it's over. I don't know about that. Oh. Every sport has every sport has their little. <laughs> I know it's injury. a little contradicting there, but, but uh, every sport has their little injury, so it's kind of like hard. But like, the, I guess I guess I get what you're saying. But like the football is like it's like my back. This is something I'm bringing back. Is like I had an injury from my back. I, I got blindsided from the back. I remember this laying on the floor, looking at the ref. He saw me and looked away like this. And I remember, <laughs> I remember like clearly, there's always, there always a ref like that. It's always right? that one guy, man. And anyways, and, and then I you know, do it, flag. Yeah, flag. I mean, I, every team. There's a lot of hate to, towards certain teams. Like, a ref was being favored a lot. Oh, yeah. Especially especially high school ball. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I know it uh, it affected me during baseball because when I would pitch, I would have that a lower back Dude, I remember rotation. you used to have to go do that acupuncture all the time. Dude, yeah, like, I had to do, like, certain things in, like, a chiropractor and stuff like that. Chiropractor. Because, yeah, because um, when I would uh, throw my pitch and I'd swing the hips, I feel like my lower back was horrible. Dude, I remember, like, I'm not saying I was, like, that good i know it's pretty decent but like i know that i did certain things to hurry up and speed the game up because i obviously i'm a pitcher because you're hurting i'm in control so i would literally just go like this i wouldn't even i wouldn't even do the forward i would just be like throwing the ball and just like regular yeah I just just like bad. pitchers in the mlb they're hurting but they they know they can get it done and yeah, just get it over with exactly so like it's one of those things that's like over time I, I know some people are listening that they're gonna be like dude i felt that like you know like and and anyone has do so many people have their experience and like it's i can bring in like any sport player on that's played sports during like high school now anything they're gonna talk about, like dude I had this injury like there's always that one person there's like, always yeah. gonna be some injury that people might not even know about you just keep to yourself you know yeah or you just yeah exactly keep to yourself you don't really talk about it because there's people that really uh, got really hurt or injured and they don't they keep it to themselves you know and it's it's sad it's it's tough but I mean it's tough but when you start loving the game it's hard to just get out you know no, and it is but then I feel bad sometimes because it's like and then you look back at it, you're like, oh, man, why did I do that? But exactly. then you're like, ah, you know, yeah, I love you, the game. And people are like, oh, when you get older, you know, you feel everything. I'm like, dude, like, I can understand that in a way because it's like after all that, you're like, oh, dude, like, you don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. So what do you think about my vlogs, man? Your vlogs, man, I, you know, I like them. They're cool. I like how you're starting that also along with the podcast that you're going on your YouTube channel. Yeah. I'm trying to get something going, you know, and like uh, trying to feel like a vibe going, you know. Yeah, and yeah. Like, I like the recent one a lot. What was it? Uh, messing with Jiva, man. I love just watching stuff on Jiva. That guy's hilarious. Hey, that if guy's... you guys want to see more of Jiva, just just let me know. Comment just, you know, that. Comment, like, you know. Give us a subscribe, man. We're just yeah. out here trying to grow AO Mix. Bro, if you guys want something or some type of like thing going on, like a topic, just throw it in there. You know, and that's the one thing I'm, I'm really open about right now is like if you guys want to um, try to get on this podcast, you know, join that seat right there or my other uh, studio and hop in the seat of uh, AO Mix. Let me know. If you want to talk about something, it's fine. I've had people, I already had a couple people uh, DM me about um, they want to like hop in and want to talk about this and that. And that's fine. I'm, 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 I'm for it. I want to get you guys that out there. Like, I like, that's the thing about like a podcast. I really like how I can talk with somebody 
for like we're all friends here hanging out but like even if it's something random like i can like um we can talk vibe about with it. it i can yeah. vibe with like i don't like i almost like it's weird because like i i like doing this because like i want people to hear opinions i want to hear people yeah i want hear people's opinion and like people i want people to hear almost the other person than me it sounds weird but i feel like yeah you're the host you want to you want to hear other people's stuff yeah and it's like i feel like they would yeah they watch for me but they want to watch to like hear what this guy has to say or about whatever or he's yeah. about this so like i feel like that's really cool I how about know. how about we get your thoughts on this weekend fourth I, july weekend i'm ready for uh fourth of july weekend i'm i'm like um I'm always, I don't know, I just, I always you know, celebrated it. I'm, I it's like it. always, I know we got a lot of problems going on right now. Stuff that needs to be fixed. I agree that we need a lot of fixing in the system. It's just always been my favorite holiday, not mostly for appendance. I'm just pro-military. Got a lot of family out there, done some badass shit in the military. Just, you know, I pay my respects. Mm-hmm. I know we got a lot of problems, though. That's the that's see, the big hatred right now about this holiday. See, and then, jeez. The, um... See that's the thing. Um, you know, I don't. Uh, how do I say? This? I don't. I don't really get into the. Um, what on Twitter? Yeah, you don't even on Twitter. You that's guys always talk about Twitter stuff, and that's I, I the main. That's where everything goes down. Yeah, because I see posts on Twitter, and I was like, I don't have Twitter, and I'm kind of happy I don't. But I'm probably gonna have to get one soon. Um, it's kind of toxic. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, but I, I well, it helps promote. Yeah, oh, definitely. So it can help like spread it. But um, anyways, like um, before you guys were saying. About like if you celebrate Fourth of July, it's very like you shouldn't, or if you don't support certain things. And but to me, I'm one of those guys that like I'm very in the middle. I'm very unbiased to certain things. Like I love yeah, hearing, yeah, I love yeah. hearing people's opinion. I don't care. Like I love hearing everything. So like I'm more of the type of like if you like celebrating this day and what it's for, that's fine. If you don't, okay, cool. That's if you don't like celebrating Christmas, okay, that's fine. That's cool. Memorial Day, okay, cool. You don't want to celebrate that. Some people don't celebrate freaking. Uh, any other holiday you might, you might celebrate like, hanukkah i don't celebrate that's exactly, you exactly so like that's what i'm saying like uh, if you don't like it's cool i i'm just like that person that's just me yeah, it's yeah. like i'm more of like if you you don't want to it's, it's fine it's up to you man i mean it's just another it's another holiday it's, it's to me the way i saw it right now is like i get what it's for the fourth of july whatever and there's always like the the fireworks like, it's all in the movies and that's another thing about movies is like they really put stuff in there that's like oh like uh fourth of july the fireworks the the uh the barbecues it's really it's so common like it's it's really like i just love it man common being around great company family friends just yeah and th- that's the thing is like when i see stuff like that I'm like oh it's cool that's about the day but then i always think about it like how come people don't just do that on a regular Day, yep, on a regular or, day. or just a normal day. It's just you see a lot of. Uh, it's really support of like what that day is, and if you celebrate or or you don't. But like, it's one of those things that like for some reason either some people get hyped about it or some people don't. Some people get hyped about Halloween. Some yep, don't. some people love Christmas, Halloween. I'm Halloween. not. I'm not a big Halloween guy, but Me, I know people that are just like in love. I'm like, I don't. I, just, I do. I hate a scary movie, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not a scary movie guy who, either. Who is somebody? me and you? I remember we're the little. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm a scary cat. I don't, I don't give a fuck with all that. Uh, all the freaking. Um, all of that Halloween stuff. Like, you know what I really, really don't like? Let me ask you this. Like, who's, like, um, a scary person or movie, character, whatever, that you're like, I don't, I don't mess with him? Uh, I, I don't, I'm, I don't I'm, mess I'm, with I'm, the... Uh, I'm Michael Myers. Michael Myers is my friend. I'm, uh, my mom. Oh, I, don't, I, don't mind, I don't mind that. I'm more of, like, the exorcist. The exorcist be getting me. Stuff like that. That stuff be messing with me. <laughs> when they're just like... <laughs> 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 no, dude, I dude, I don't like Michael Myers because my mom loves Michael Myers and she would bump. Dude, my dad she'd be bumping the music, yeah, the, music the music in the movies all the time. The, the surround sound thing, <laughs> just getting all nervous <laughs> in the <laughs> living room. <laughs> dude, oh my, dude, my Homie's dad looking left, my, right, left, right, the whole my, movie. And the thing is, we told my parents about it. Like, dude, we don't like that. It's kind of scary. Kind of scary, and um. Dude, she was still playing the movie, and my, my dad finally told him, "Hey, you gotta stop that. You can't play this." At they night. don't like this. We're You're scaring them. They're going to bed, and it's like they got school tomorrow, and she's bumping it. And she, my mom didn't listen, but I know like that's her like favorite. But I would hear that. It's, that song is like, uh, I'm no, I'm good. I'm <laughs> homies, good. I'm homies, good. homies, locked up and getting strapped up. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm getting scared of that for sure. Like I never watched. Um, you know, what was that was a pretty cool movie. Was the the Chainsaw Guy? Chainsaw Massacre, Chainsaw Texas Massacre. Chainsaw Massacre. That's a good one. That's uh, that's one of Mark's favorite movies. That's, isn't there like there's an OG one, huh? Where they go on the the uh, bus or something? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? We talking about Kino? Transit? Transit? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, no. It's I think it's I think it's uh the Chainsaw guy when they go on that they dr- oh a van they're driving a van and they pick up a guy. Uh, th- are you talking about Excuse Purge? You? No. <laughs> oh, I mystery van. You want to go in the mystery van? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, and they, the guy in the wheelchair, and he gets all, he cuts himself. House, yeah, and they go to that, the, what's that one? Is that the chain? Chainsaw, chainsaw, 
Yeah, yeah, dude. I remember watching. Okay, so I was right. Okay, so, <laughs> so that one, so that one was like crazy because I remember watching. That, I was like, damn. Like, I feel like all the older movies are could be scary. Oh yeah, the older movies are much more scary now. They're I feel like they're more filtered. You know what? I don't know who I was talking about this with. I forgot. I don't know if it was somebody here, but like, uh, um, Paranormal Activity. Oh yeah, you know, uh, someone told me the. Was it you? Someone told me. I think it was Aiden. The budget was only eleven yeah, oh, thousand no, yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, it was Aiden. Eleven thousand budget, and it made what four billion or something in yeah. the box office. Dude, that's one movie. I remember. Remember, and you guys can write a light on this. All of us. And I think out, we were just getting into high school about that time. school, high school, and everyone was like, yo, we're going to go to the movies, you know, all that little vibe. And you watch that, and you're like, all here in the... <laughs> and, then, like, and then, silent. Budget was $15,000, made $190 million. Yeah, $190 million. Sorry, I was a little extravagant. Yeah. Dude, that was crazy. And I remember just watching those movies, like, they were kind of like, they were scary. Uh, but you know what's... Like, even... No, the third one. Uh, you guys can... Have you seen the third one? Yeah, yeah, I've seen all of them. Have hey, you guys seen the third one, right? Paranormal Activity, the third one? That was probably the scariest one, 100%. That ending, we were talking about this too, is like the third one was that one where like the lady co walks outside and there's everyone in the yard. Those are good movies. Those are good movies though. That one was, was ridiculous. Yo, the Conjuring, that the whole conjuring. that whole little that story whole little cat storyline, story yeah. yes. Oh my, the Conjuring storyline. That's dude, the, the one with the, they have the doll in that one too, right? Yeah, that's the Annabelle. Annabelle, Annabelle. it's all part of the same thing, yeah. Bro. Those ones are. Yeah, those ones hit. Dude, those, those ones be getting me, bro. <laughs> I don't be sleeping that night. Yeah, I, dude, the storyline of that is amazing. Like, I don't like scary movies, but, like, I... And then they give me with a little, based on a true story. Yeah. I don't like scary movies. I really don't like scary movies. Like, I'm not picking a scary movie. But for some reason, that storyline is, like, I'm so interested. I'm just yeah, so, it's like, just good. Like, oh, wow. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. You know you know, you're going to be scared, but it's just, like, good watching. Yeah, and, and another thing I, I, I seen was... You ever seen uh, Sinister? Sinister, yeah, another good one. That one's yeah, actually the, the pretty map, scary. The little map. The little... All, <laughs> they're all the kids lined up. Oh, my dude, that was... No, I'm good off that. That was crazy. That one's like too much, dude. I don't know. Let's talk about war movies. What's what's got to be your oh favorite war God, movie, dude? War movie. Low key, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I want. I really. I'm really interested in what your answer is here. I have well, because there's a lot. I have. I have a good amount. Uh, yeah, I have a lot too. But I want to know what's your like your number one like man. This number one, one I can this, watch over and over. Yeah, this one hits me. Like I can keep oh, watching. Oh, hits me or like okay. Like you could just watch it. God. Um. I don't know because I have so many that are really they're cool. Um, with the uh, Tom Hanks in it, Tom Hanks, Saving Private Ryan, Saving Private Ryan. You know I that's like, a go-to for everybody. Great movie. A, yeah, it's a good movie because the storyline of it, the beginning, pff, oh my God, that was so real, man. That was ridiculous. Another movie I liked and that was a really good story is uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge, nice. That was that was really good. His story was amazing right there for sure. And then, um, if we're talking about like a, a military movie, like a mission movie. I think the best one was um, with, with um, Mark Wahlberg in it. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Which one is that? What? Lone Survivor. That was good. And American Sniper. Yeah, you always go to American Sniper. American, American Sniper. Sniper. <laughs> yeah. American Chris Sniper. Kyle. Badass motherfucker right there. Dude, those are crazy. Like, I, I liked, but I really liked the Saber Pirate Run movie. What about We Were Soldiers? You ever seen that one? Mel Gibson? Classic. I think so. Classic. I think so. Mr. Peterson showed me in that 10th grade. Ever since then, fell in love with it. Yeah, he showed me that movie. I, he showed me that movie. Okay, well, me and brother Aiden watched it, but he showed me and broke it down to me. Russ. Yeah. All right, this is the last uh, topic. Where do you see yourself in ten years? In ten years? Wow, that's a hard one. It's really hard. I know. Let's let's try to like. I see my. I know we can talk oh, forever about this, and I kind of want to. Oh, I can go forever. I can go for hours. Yeah, on exactly, this. but let's just like the the time we have right now. Like, let's just keep it like very like. I want. I can break it down real friend. simple. Okay. I see myself in ten years, either still here in beautiful San Diego. Or somewhere, somewhere just secluded, you know, mm -hmm. somewhere out in the country. And just, just slanging real estate, slanging it, slanging yeah. real estate, messing on my computer all day, stock market, making money, not even worrying about money, just loving life, having kids, having a wife, you know, just living. Interesting. That's, that's, that's pretty deep right there for sure. That's something like I would think about doing too. Like it's, it's just not real estate and like all that stuff, but like talking about like the, the being stable enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I used to have like that ambition to be filthy rich, but now I just want to be able to be happy. Yeah, be happy. But like, as you get older, I feel like we're still young, but like, I feel like we can keep moving up now. And at one point we're going to hit, we're like, dude, I don't even care about that anymore. I don't even care about that. I care about my family. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And even yourself, like, you know what I mean? Selfish, just more of like yeah. everything just like going on. You just want to like. Either you don't want to be stuck. Work, 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 work. Or have at least fun doing whatever yeah. you do. At least enjoying what you're working with. Yeah, like, I know. I, like, I, 
I agree because like even stuff like this, it's crazy because like stuff like this, like I can do this for fun, and if it blows up, it blows up. If it doesn't, yeah. oh well. Hopefully, ten years, I'm coaching some type of sports somewhere. Oh, dude, we we're talking about that. I remember we're gonna coach sports soon. Hey, we're gonna coach sports. We're soon. gonna coach uh, IB Little League. If you're ready <laughs> to come check us out, send your kid, make send him to the pros. Yeah, we'll, we'll send him out there. And um, man, we'll get sponsored by the AL Mig. I wish we could do a little sponsorship right there for, for what sure. What about you, brother? In ten years, um, that's pretty deep, but um. It's the same as you. I'm more of like, I hopefully everything's all stable during that time. And if I have, not about money, but like enough where I'm okay. Like, hey, you know, I want to get this. Like, hey, I want to go do this. Yeah, go ahead, son. Yes, even even yes, just you. But not freely. Oh, I'm yeah, like, not freely. Like, you're going like, to work yeah, for it. Boom, bam, yeah, no, no. Just like enough where it's like, this is like, I can do it. Okay, hey, you want to go on, let's go on this trip. Okay, let's plan this trip and let's get it done. Yeah. Not exactly. like, oh, you know, that's a hard, that's a hard one. That's tough because we got this, we got this bill, we got that bill, and all stuff. Like, yeah, oh, and you start tripping about all and that. And you're like, no, nah, not trip enough where you you don't have enough bills or like enough. Um, Just where you have enough money at the end of the month to do what you want to do. Because you know, people talk about like money. It's like, yeah, it's not about the money makes you happy, whatever, all that stuff. It, 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 it gets money to me is like it gets the job done for certain things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It can make you. It, money can make you happy. I know it doesn't have to make you happy because we can be just like this. We need any money. Just yeah, I'm like happy this. right now. I'm very happy right now. We didn't need money to like just hang out here. Obviously, all this you see money and all this little equipment, but yeah. I, that's because of the podcast. But that's because I worked to put money you worked into to have this, this to have this. So, but like just to hang out like us friends, that's like no money required. That's priceless just, to me, man. I, I love walk it. on your two feet, walk to my house, hang out, ride a bike, ride my bike over here, ride my bike over here. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's, it just depends. And to me, money is more of like. You need it to a certain extent of like what you actually need. Some people use money as like I just like need this. I yeah. Need to pay my house bill. I need to pay this. I have this little whatever. I'm good. That's it. Like that's all I need. And some people are like I need more than that. It just yep. depends some on the people person. there's just there's just no there's just no end to happiness for some people. That's the way I see that. Mm. Yeah. You're just never gonna be satisfied. Wow. That's rounders. <laughs> rounders. Good movie. Great good movie. movie. Oh, okay. Great movie actually. Um. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I just feel like it's one of those things where you just got to, like, it's it's on you. It's all on you. It's, you do the work. You put in the work or whatever happens, like, it's on you. You know, and that, that's just the way I feel about it. The way I see it, enjoy your – I know I'm not old, fucking 22. None of us are. Enjoy your, enjoy your young prime. Don't worry about money right now. Sure, it's important, but enjoy what you're doing. <laughs> my boy, my boy, I got some boys crying in the studio right now. <laughs> Sure, you can have all this money, but you're going to miss out on all these great memories. Like, working. Yeah, and some people actually need it. They're like, I don't want to do this, but I need it to, to support. Support this. This or that, or I need this. But guess what? Maybe at a certain point in time, you're like, okay, I did enough of that where now I'm okay. I just need, Remember one time you said, oh, I just need to do this for a year, and I need to work hard for, like, these couple months. I yeah. need to do this. And then I'll be good and be or able to. Or a trip. I need a trip, so I'm going to work hella overtime yeah, for, like, three months. Yeah, and just grind it out, and then I'm going to have a great trip. Exactly. And some people just, some people do that, and that's fine. Like, I, I agree with that. I've done that for sure. Yeah, definitely. I'm Back pretty sure everyone's done that. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure, too. It's that time where you just got to go work, just put in the work in the hours and then put out the work and then you get to play. There it is. Our little work hard, time. play hard. Yes, True sir. that. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Appreciate being able to come out here. Hey, you're welcome. Um, it's a beautiful day. I think it was perfect. Time, perfect timing. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Everything. It's nice. It's nice. And I'm just glad we had a um, talk, you know. Throw you on here. I was waiting for a while, you know, to get you on. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you we know, had some technical uh, difficulties going on, COVID, all that stuff, you know. Yeah, all the little uh, extra stuff going on. But you know, I'm gonna have more friends on and other people. I can't. Dude, I can't wait to have like other people. That's. I want to expand on like the. Hey, random people out there watching, hit them up. Just DM me. I. I literally. I'm not gonna deny you. You know, maybe there's times of like where it could be like, okay, maybe not now, but later. But like, it, it, it could be whoever. It could be whoever. You know, we can. You might be on right now. You could be someone, someone who went to high school, if you never talked to, he watches your stuff and just like, hey, man, I want to go out there and talk about my opinion. Yeah, exactly. I have people hit me up randomly, and I'm like, oh, I, I never thought they would. I never thought they would <laughs> hit me up. And it's crazy. I, I'm not going to say who and or who. <laughs> actually, more, multiple people, people, the people that do that. And it's like, it, it it's one of those things where like, okay, well, uh, I'll see what I can do, basically, because they want to speak about whatever they want to talk about. Yep. And, and I think that's, that's amazing that you can do that, like. Just hit up people and talk about stuff like this. But all right, guys, I have merch out. Check it out. Hit me up. Uh, Instagram. Good merch. Got one myself. Wore it twice already. <laughs> wore it. <laughs> didn't wash it. Just wear it. Just wear it fucking twice. Like, <laughs> I might have washed it. Might have washed Maybe. it. Maybe. 
But uh, yeah, hit me up. Uh, Instagram. This is uh, Russ. Get all your social media. Shout it out yourself, man. Uh, you know I don't like to shout out myself on social media. I keep it private. You can follow me on Instagram though. Wet Orion six one nine. That's perfect. That's all. I just it's just whatever you want to throw out there. It's fine. Um, and that's it, guys. So um, I'm doing vlogs, uh, podcasts, YouTube. Hit me up. Instagram, all that. Um, if you see me, say what's up. You guys want to merch? Hit me up. Everything. It's fine. Like I'm I'm, I'm very open to hanging out and. Just, just hit me up. Just hit me up. It don't matter. Hey, yo. Biggs Podcast. See you guys later. Go.